so in this video we will understand how to update operator id password so consider there is one developer like a so where he will be getting one operator id and password so consider he has forgotten his password so for that he will be having three options so one thing is to log in like an administrator and update it from there and second thing here is he can ask any of his teammates maybe person b or c any of the teammates they can ask him they can ask and they can log in and they can able to modify and third thing is they have to log in into database and do the respective changes from there we know so operators will be stored in one database table called pr underscore operators so this person has to open database and this table in particular and he has to modify the changes there but this is not that feasible we know in pega projects 99 percentage we need not open db okay so most of the pega developers will not be given db access also not required actually so we can straight away rule out this one and the first one is like login like an admin or he can ask any of the other teammates to log in so let us consider this one whatever both the things will be of same so let me log in like an administrator and after we logging in here we have to check where all the list of operators will be and within that we have to identify our own and we have to modify from there so we know database table associated for this is pr operators pr underscore operators and the class linked for this so if we are having one table in the background 100 percent we know we should be having concrete class in the front end and the class associated for this in the front end will be data admin operator id so this is the respect to class where all the operators will be like an in instances so just try to get for the class name here that is data admin operator and id this is the instance class if you click on this instance class all the instances of that class we can able to straight away see and you can just open any one or you can just open your respect to operator id and you can straight away go for security and update your password here okay you can just give your new password and confirm it and after you save it you can straight away log off from here you can log in with your operator id and the new password so this is the way so this all we are planning to do if we can understand or if we can remember this class name data admin operator id if you don't remember this class name also no problem just log in into dev studio it might be from administrator login or some other developers login whatever we can straight away search for this class or if you don't remember the class name simply click on the records and there will be something like organization so if you expand this organization you can find some option in some other versions of pega instead of organization you will be finding it like company okay company if you expand that company or organization here you will be finding operator id if we click on this again you will be getting the same instances list so if we just check here and here both are same so if i click on this i will be getting the same results or even if i click on this also same both the things are same so what is happening whenever we are clicking on this or on this class name it is executing one sql query with this particular table pr underscore operators and it is pulling out all the operator ids as the instances you can open your respect to operator id go to security change password that's it okay so in this way we can able to update the password very easily so in the real time you cannot get db access that easy maybe on the day one and admin password also it will be changed by your b or someone so you are supposed to request other teammates who can access dev studio and you can ask them to update the password for yours so this should be the process okay hope everyone getting some information about this thank you everyone